one of the often misinterpreted use and confusing terms in data analysis is the difference between data analysis and data analytics. What exactly is the difference between these two? Hello everyone, good evening once again, and you're welcome to our YouTube channel, Tech Mastery Hub, with your guy Oladeji. Today, we're driving into a fascinating topic, which is to differentiate between the term data analysis and data analytics. Both terms are often used interchangeably, but they have distinct meanings and applications in the world of information. That is exactly what I want us to you know, differentiate today. So join me on this exciting journey as always. And um, before I go on, as often as you keep finding our channel and what we're dropping here informative and useful, please continue to subscribe to the channel, like and share so that others can find it. Now into our journey for today. Let's start with data analysis. What exactly is data analysis? Data analysis, simply put, is the process of inspecting, cleaning, transforming, modeling, and discovering meaningful insights and patterns from your data. That is, when you take an existing data and you clean it, you process it, and you are able to extract certain information that will answer the question usually why and how. That is data analysis. Just take for instance, a farmer wants to go into the next planting session and um, you take the previous information of farming in your neighborhood relative to your crop and whatever you're doing now you want to get the data analyzed so that you will be able to know how the pattern of rainfall has always been in that area. You want to know how the land has been performing so that all this will inform what exactly you need to do, the period to plant, the seeds to put into the ground, and the quantity of fertilizer to apply where necessary. Now that is data analysis. Again, when we now talk about data analytics, data analytics is taking it a bit further. It's not just um, drive, uh, cleaning the data and processing it. We will take the same raw data, process it the same way we have done in this case of data analysis. But this time around, we want to use that data to be able to say what tomorrow holds for us. In a supermarket or a retailing business, for example, you pick the past five year data, you process it, you explore it, you are able to visualize and analyze and do everything you need to do on it. Now, the insight you are drawing out of this and this moment is something that will inform you about what's likely to happen in this business next year what's likely to happen in this particular season of the year. Now that is data analytics. Both are related, but they are not exactly the same thing as we interchangeably use them. So analysis is more about studying what happened in the past. Analytics is more about studying what's going to happen in the future. So while one takes information and tells us what happened in the future, in the past. The other is taking the same information and forecasting for us what's going to happen in the near future. Both are still very useful when it comes to the issue of um, um, decision making. So guys, basically, that is the difference between the two. In summary, take it like this. While data analysis, it's something that takes an existing data and focuses on its past, answering that question, how and why. Data analytics, on the other hand, is that data and um, the processing that takes you to the future to say 
what exactly is going to happen. It's like saying data analysis is synonymous to a driver looking in the rear view mirror to see what is behind and understanding it. While um, when you look in the GPS, the same driver looks in the GPS, it's telling what's ahead. That is data analytics. Now, these two processes are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they complement each other if you look at it in a way. They complement each other beautifully. Data analysis provides the foundation by examining historical data and data analytics utilizes these insights to predict the future trends and make informed decisions. They are not separated. Don't look at them as two separate um, entities that are not related. They are. But the usage and how exactly they come in. To an extent, which we're not necessarily going to dive into here, the tools at both stages often differ a little. So that basically is the difference between data analysis and data analytics. When I came newly into the field of data analytics, or data analysis, as we may call it, I often get confused about these two concepts. And that is why it is important for us to know the difference, where to draw the line, how to use them appropriately. In conclusion, while data analysis and data analytics have their own roles, combining the strengths of both can unlock powerful insights and drive innovation across various fields. Now, understanding the past and predicting the future, that's the magic of merging data analysis and data analytics together. Don't let us separate them. So guys, thank you once again for watching the Tech Mastery Hub with your guy Oladeji. As often as we do, every week we drop contents, just those soft contents for developers, for analytics and every tech guy, just to touch those little things that are not often talked about. Most videos will teach you the ABC of programming. Most videos will teach you the XYZ of SQL, for example. Now, there are some little, little things that are over, often overlooked that a starter especially most often gets confused about. Those are the main focus of our channel here. So don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe so that as we drop this content weekly, you are one of the first to get in touch with them. Thank you once again. And until next time, let's keep exploring the world of data analysis.